What is up, YouTube? Here with another episode of ET Got Vintage, where your boy goes out there looking for cool vintage things that are cool in my eyes and maybe in your eyes too, guys. This is episode number 28. Let's go ahead and get this video started. On this pickup here, guys, I ended up going to the thrift store, ended up picking up this Astro World T right here. This is a size medium, guys. I paid $3.99 for this one right here. Uh, this one is actually a pretty cool one right here. This is from 2018. This is the one they did a collab with Virgil, the uh, Astro World Tour. You already know what happened on the tour in 2021. Guys, that was horrible. But you know what? This right here is worth some money to me. This right here, I'm gonna easily be selling this at least for 25 to $30 for this. This one is at the same spot. This one right here, we got Emiliano Zapata in the back right here. It says, eating out never tasted so good. The reason it says that, guys, this one is from the Hard Rock Hotel. This one was 249 size XL, Pink Tacos, Vegas. This place is no longer there. I figured I should pick this up because this back piece right here is incredible. I wish it wasn't pink, but oh well, guys. It's a dope piece. Easily see myself making a $10 bill for this right here. Make sure, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. Show me that you guys are watching by dropping a comment, letting me know what you guys like in these finds and what you guys think these prices I can sell it for. Those are just the prices I put out, but guys, you never know. Maybe I'm selling myself short and I could be selling it for a higher dub. You already know, ET got vintage. All right, guys, on this here as well, and then I'm picking up at that same spot, that same thrift store. I mean, CSA tag on there. This one's Arizona Diamondbacks, guys. This is from 2003. Y'all check it out right there. This piece is incredible. It's a size 2XL, so it fits a little big, but normally I don't find uh, Arizona Diamondbacks vintage tees that are at least in this size, so this is perfect. I will be selling this at least for 30 to 40 dollars guys i ended up paying 7.99 for this i paid a little up for it but i also used my discount as well this one was at the salvation army this one right here is at the thrift store well, it was for nine something because they had a discount because i got the coupon you already know guys use your coupons check out the tag on there right there also got the adidas tag right there on the little zipper guys look at it's got some nice pieces to it got the little adidas the little adidas right there on the bottom the back is even sicker look at the back right here guys this piece is incredible this is a perfect time to be picking this up the season is in to be wearing jackets hoodies windbreakers and all that guys this right here is easily going to bring in 35 dollars right here this one right here is a newer mickey but kicking it old school style right here check that out and this boy looking cooler than the polar bear toenails guys it's got nothing on the back guys it is a size large guys i paid 5.99 for this this right here is easily gonna bring in a 15 dollar bill let's get this money y'all this one was a banger right here this one was only two dollars guys this right here is an albert einstein from 1993 guys check it out guys this piece is incredible to me it is a size medium though which sucks guys it is an older one guys i already looked these up right here this one easily is easily going for 80 to 60 to 100 dollar bill for this right here guys Real quick fit check, guys, your boy's got an old school vintage Chicago Bulls crew neck on. Got nothing to the back, but check out the graphics in the front, guys. Y'all already know, y'all see that bull with his tongue out, like Jordan when he was throwing those layups or hitting them shots, y'all. Y'all already know. Also on foot, guys, what I do got is these Jordans right here, these Jordan 10s. It goes perfect with the fit, guys, and I figured I should throw them on. Guys, it's Thanksgiving. Your boy got a fresh fade with it, too. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. From 1994, it was super cool to me. These graphics got nothing to the back, but check it out what it's got in the front, guys. Fourth annual burritos fiesta run. Check it out. My boy's in that nice whip right there. About to give burritos out to all the kids. Check it out, guys. This piece is super incredible. The charity car show right there, guys. This easily is bringing in a $10 bill. So maybe 15 bucks, y'all. This is perfect for the time. Today is Thanksgiving, y'all. Check it out. We got this one right here, the Ron Schumann turkey night check it out guys eight time champ right here we got the turkey on there as well guys this is perfect i might even post this one up today maybe some of you might pick it up also guys this right here was a trade from offer up got this guy that hit me up he wanted a couple t-shirts and i saw his page and i was like yo man he's got a couple cool tees right here too so guys shout out to shay if you are watching bro go ahead and hit a like and also, I already know you subscribed when you were in this spot right here, picking up from the dungeon. Guys, this piece right here was a trade for uh, an ice cream tea. I don't know if you guys remember a couple of episodes back that I had an ice cream and bones tea. Guys, this one right here is super sick to me. Got an older tag on there. It's got an anvil tag. 
Check out how crispy that tag is right there. The War of Ages, check out the graphics. This is this is what it does for me, guys. This right here is what I like collecting. I mean, this stuff looks pretty crazy, and that's, that's, that's what I like collecting, guys. Check out the back right here. Death will set us free. Check out all the, the bones and the skulls in the back, guys. This tee right here is definitely a good trade. Also, I ended up trading this one as well from Shave for that same t-shirt that I ended up getting, guys. This right here is from 96, guys. We got the Texas Terry NASCAR Winston Cup Series, guys. 1996, y'all. We got the Cornflakes Whip, that Monte Carlo looking fresh. My boy right here looking crazy with them glasses on. Check out the back right here. Champion, Terry LaFont. Lafonte? Yeah, that's it. What? Oh, Labonte. That's what it is. Duh. Guys, you can see the bottom right there. Guys, this tee right here is no longer going anywhere as well. This man was selling it for the low. My boy was selling it only for six bucks. Guys, I would have paid just to get it, but you know what? He offered a trade, and I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I was asking $35 for the ice cream tea. I said, you know what? You give me this one, and you give me this one right here. It's an even trade for me. Also, this one right here was a trade from Shea. I don't remember what we traded for, but guys, check this out right here. Ended up picking up the Supreme tee right here. Check it out, my boy carrying a carrot in his hand. Guys, this tee right here is not going to fit me. It is a size large, guys, but you know what? I might end up stretching it out, guys. This is a collab with somebody. I can't read that right there, but I'm not too crazy about Supreme. But if I do end up getting it, why not rock it, y'all? I'm all about vintage. I'm also all about cool street wear and anything that looks cool. And this piece right here in the front looked too cool for me. Shay, shout out to you, man, for giving me this tea. I appreciate you. Guys, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button. A trade as well. Man, I, he was in here in this uh, dungeon. He was in here for about an hour. He had a buddy of his here as well. I do not remember his name, but I will never forget your face. Shout out to you as well, man. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, man. Ask Shay, send you the link, and you will end up being subscribed, guys. He was in here for about an hour. I don't remember what we truly traded for. Guys, there is racks on racks on racks on racks in here, guys. So, guys, there's plenty of stuff. I ended up picking up this tee from him, though. It was a trade. This is from 2007. This Metallica tee on the Haynes tag right there, the heavyweight. Guys, this is not going anywhere as well. This is staying with your boy. Super banger right here. Before I show you guys this, guys, it is not for sale. You already know. Usually, when they end up picking up sun stuff, it stays with your boy. Guys, check out this one right here. We got In The Paint brand right there as well basketball gear guys check this out pristine condition guys this piece right here is a size large uh it's kind of weird though because size large is is almost like an xl right here guys check out the colors to this guys the multi-color is what does it for me as well if it's not black it's got to have crazy colors to it and i will be keeping it 6.99 for this right here guys i was about to buy two hats from a lady from offer up vintage logo 7 phoenix suns hats she was selling them $20 each. I told her, you know what? Let me go ahead and give you 30 for both and I'll come pick them up. Guys, I was backpedaling a little bit because it was a little too far. It's in Mesa. Guys, I'm in Glendale. This right here was too far of a drive for me to get it. And my wife said, you know what? Don't go for it. It's too far. You're tired. Just go ahead and relax. You will find stuff when you go to the thrift store. Guess what? The next day, guys, ended up picking up this right here, guys. This is at least going for $200, 180 guys, but it is not for sale. It is staying with your boy. This right here is an old school guest. GT's right there. Y'all see it. Made in USA. Check it out. Guess in the front. Got a little guess on the sleeve. Guys, this piece right here needs to be uh, steamed out. And it will look super clean, guys. This is a size large. But like I said, guys, it looks like an extra large to me. Like back in the days of clothes, they were like being like nice and giving more product to the clothes. But at the same time, if you were a large and you were literally really a fit to large, this large would not fit you. It would be too big. It would be baggy. But guys, this right here easily is bringing in a $25 bill to $20, bucks, you all I paid a dollar. Ended up picking up these super dope shoes. You already know, Kobe's always going to be worth some money, guys. I ended up picking up these Kobe's uh, low green, something like that. I don't know. I looked them up already. But guys, these are easily going for $200, bucks, 160 $180. No less than $100, guys. This right here is in pretty good condition, guys. Check out the condition. It just needs a little quick scrub a dub, and it should be ready to make that money, y'all. Guys, this right here, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm going to be sitting on it. Guys, I got a couple Kobe's in the last couple episodes. It seems like every single episode, I have picked up some Kobe shoes. Guys, these right here are not going less than $100, but I'm going to be sitting on them for a bit.
a nice essential piece right here guys check it out it's got a little fade to it nice navy blue guys nothing to the back got the nice little carhartt right in the front guys this is a size xl but man this fits like it's a x a 2xl guys this right here is easily bringing in a 20 dollar bill to 15 guys also got me another one guys same price as what i paid for them right here guys both size xl 3.99 is what we paid for both of them check it out guys good condition nice fade to it perfect essential right there selling it at least for 10 to 15 dollars all right guys this is the end of the video nice short quick one guys i will see you guys on the next episode happy gobble gobble happy thanksgiving happy holidays to everyone out there like i said like share and subscribe show to your cousin because i know y'all just hanging out in the crib right now just kicking it waiting for that turkey to be ready this is your boy ichi got vintage and i'm out